the way they are looking at it. We don't know. Well, there's no party here. We didn't invite you for dinner or something. Do you know what I've got from the car? One more word from your stinking mouth. And I'll soon descend heavily on you. What is the matter, sir? The same thing that has happened over time that you fanatically ignored, Pastor. Mm -hmm. The same tempo and velocity go back the way you came. Ah! Ah ah! A color con 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 to see who? This is Edward. And he will know what is good for you. It's better you go back to me and pick you from. Hello, sir. You can't just buy into your office on your phone. Where's your coxy? Sound has been in my family. You know, um, we can only give birth to two children. If we try to have the next, the third child, the husband will die. I don't think I'm going to take that risk. Jesus Christ! What is that? Now see, what was the problem? Why don't you tell me all this when we are still in costume? <laughs> you, you didn't ask! This is too much. Ah, you didn't. What is too much? You didn't ask. What are we going to do now? Do? About what? Why are you taking this in personal? No. There is fire on the mountain. <laughs> there is no fire on the mountain unless you want to set the whole house on fire. There is no fire on the mountain here. Yeah? You know what? You know, you see, um, I don't, I don't even know. What is that? Where is that from? Just explain. Hey. You see? Okay. Yeah. In the custom of my family. Okay. Hey. Hey. What was our ladies' day? The first and the second delivery are always too bad. Wait. I... I don't understand. You, you mean? The first... If I don't... The first and the second delivery are always too bad. Yes. Wait. If I understand this very clearly, in my family, we can only give birth to two children. And in your family, the first and the second delivery are always two births. I think this is making this is making sense. Does that mean we can't have we can have children? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, what? How dare you?
last. I found happiness. Ah, wow. Hmm. I am the most happiest man on heart. Like seriously. Do you know how long we've waited for a time like this to come? Wow. Hi. Hmm. You know what? I'm so excited. Hmm. I can't believe you are now husband and wife. Like seriously? It's awful just like a dream. Ah. I'm so glad. You know, dear, ah. I can't wait. Hmm. To do what? You naughty boy. Uh, like, of course you know what I mean. Mm. I can't wait to put twins into your stomach and then settle everything once and for all. Mm. How do you mean to settle everything once and for all? Oh, wait. I remember you said you only want two kids. Well, I want to believe you were joking, right? No, of course. I wasn't joking. Two kids is enough for us. A boy and a girl, and that makes the equation balance. But there, but why? Ah, okay, okay, maybe um, that's what you should have asked me all this why. You know, um, let me ask you a few questions. Do you remember the time we visited my sister in Lagos? Yeah. Now, how many kids do you met there? Um, I think two. Just two. Yeah. And you know, my parents gave birth to my sister and I. Yeah, that's true. So. That is how it has been in my family. You know, um, we can only give birth to two children. And then if we try to have the next, the third child, the husband will die. I don't think I'm going to take that risk. Jesus Christ! What is that? Now see, what was the problem? Why don't you tell me all this when we are still in courtship? <laughs> you, you didn't ask! This is too much. Ah, you didn't? Why is too much? You didn't ask. What are we going to do now? Do? About what? Why are you taking this thing personal? No. There is fire on the mountain. <laughs> there is no fire on the mountain unless you want to set the whole house on fire. There is no fire on the mountain here. Yeah? You know what? You know, you see, um, I don't, I don't even know. What is that? Where is that from? Just explain. Hey. You see, okay. Yeah. In the custom of my family. Okay. Hey, hey. Oh, I was lady this day. The first and the second delivery are always two beds. Wait, I I don't understand. You mean the first if I don't the first and the second delivery are always two beds. Yes. Wait. If I understand this very clearly, in my family, we can only give birth to two children. And in your family, the first and the second delivery are always two birth. Yes. I think this is making this is making sense. Does that mean we can't have we can have children? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, what? How dare you? You are so damn hot. I would hate cooking well till after marriage. When I marry night. I'm sorry. You know what? I don't want to set my ass on you anymore. No, 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 no. Not you can't do this to me. You know, ah, no, no. Wait, wait. Save your tears. Yes, you must. I still can't catch up the reason why you are so specific for me.
carry your food is ready my food is ready yeah. you know what Jesus. I've prepared delicious food for you your favorite wait can't you think so with everything going on in this house you are, you are fulfilled you are satisfied like you are happy you are glad hey see the way you even dressed don't you think at all I am ashamed of you. Get out! Get out! But why? Ah, why? Why is it that you the blame on me? Am I the only one at fault here? I'm tired. God help me. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Nelson. If I may ask you, um, you know, with um, a year of experience in this week, at least 10 years experience, um, please, are you sure about this decision you're about to make? <sighs> Doctor, my wife and I have discussed this over and over again, and um, we have reached a consensus. That is why we are here. Um, Madam, over to you. Yes, Doctor. That's what we want. Are you sure? Yeah, yes, that's what we want. Would that be the case? Yeah. Can we proceed? Sure, we can proceed. about I'm sorry I'm sorry I I didn't know you are here it's just that I'm lost in thoughts I can't even think straight any longer I can't think straight everything is really affecting me psychologically yeah what do you expect us to do I think this is the best option for us we have to adopt a child. Or what do you think is the solution? I have removed my mom just because of the issue in your family and mine. I can never give birth anymore. Or what do you expect me to do? Hey, excuse me. I did this because I don't want any evil to be brought up our family. Dear, calm down. Dear, calm. It's not I'm against your opinion. It's just that. That's what? Okay. okay. You will adopt. A child. First thing tomorrow morning, we will go to better home. This will be the second time we come here to adopt a child. All you could do is to give us abnormal children. The first time we came here to adopt Oluwashegun, we can discover that he has a brain problem. And the second time we came to adopt um Tebitope, hey, we would have to call her for like five times before she answers us. What exactly is the problem, ma? We need to know. But madam, what exactly is wrong with your children here? Because I don't understand. What is the assurance if we adopt another child? If we not know they chase I and my husband out of the house with coppers. I wonder. Ah. Hmm. This time is Abraham. You really need to come. You see, I'm not supposed to tell you this. But for the sake of the situation at hand, I will share this with you. You see, 80% of the children in orphanage homes, they are children that are not in their normal condition. Tell me, what do you expect from a child whose mother died immediately after birth? 
They were unable to suck. See, there are many more cases like that, and even worse than that. The only thing I can do is to advise you. And you know what my advice is? Yes, go on, man. You keep praying. You are still a very young couple. You just start your life. You need to pray. Mm. And when I am talking about prayer, I mean very serious prayers. Please call me. Serious prayer, my brother and my sister. Prayer. Yes, prayer. So that's no no. That's to me. Madam, is that the you asked for? Oh, thank you. Madam, you gave me the toys. Okay. What are they? Mr. and Mr. Debowali. They are Debowalis. Yes, so that woman where the picking get big age. That woman that has that particular life begin. We get big age. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I have an appointment with them. Please tell them to come in, sir. You say make them come in. Yes, tell them to come in. Madam, they next me do. Please usher them in. I'm attending. Okay, madam. You say make them go. Okay, ma. Sorry, ma. So, Mr. Mm. and Mrs. Abraham. Serious prayer. Yes, serious one. Oh. And the Lord will answer you. There's nothing impossible for God to do. Mr. and Mrs. Abraham, you're welcome once again. Thank you, sir. I'm very sorry for any inconvenience I might have caused you to call for this opportunity. But I need to let you know that this meeting was called out of urgency. If I can still get the figures right, I think it will be going to like three years now that you people have been married. Hmm. Yes. But till today, there is no fruit of the womb. Hmm. No child whatsoever. And the Holy Spirit keeps telling me that something is wrong. I can remember I've called you both many times to ask you if everything is alright. And you do tell me everything is alright. Especially you, Mr. Ibrahim. Whenever I call you to ask you about it, you will tell me everything is alright. Everything is alright. But the Holy Spirit keeps bugging me that everything is not alright. That there is a problem that the two of you are aware of. That's why I called you for this meeting. To ask you for the very last time if everything is alright. And if you still insist today that everything is alright, I promise not to make mention of the issue again. But I want you to believe something. That God is not man. That he will lie. Daddy. The Holy Spirit is indeed the spirit of truth. Thank you. We have a grave problem in our family. I don't even know how to explain. I don't. Mr. Abraham. Don't tell me you are crying. You don't need to cry. No, stop it, Mr. and Mrs. Abraham. You know, tears and sorrows are meant for the children of God. Sorrow and tears are meant for the devil and his disciples. And not for children of God like you. You know what? Calm down. The Lord is in control. Please, wipe your tears. I don't want to see you in this condition. Please, Mrs. Sir. Abraham. Please, everything is under control. Calm down. <laughs> you see, Pastor. We got to know the cause in our family. After marriage, on our wedding night, in our family, the first and the second delivery are always still bait. Still what? Still bait, sir. Pastor, to what's in the case? In my own family, couples cannot have more than two children. How? Only if the husband wants to die untimely. If we try to have the third one, then the husband will die. Jesus Christ! My grandfather. My grandfather died immediately. My father, who happened to be the third born, was given birth to. And this has happened to so many people in our family. If any man marries another woman in my family, the husband will die. And if any woman marries any man in my family, 
The husband will still die. This is serious. The only people that escape this untimely death are those that gave birth to maximum of two kids. Daddy, Daddy. you see my husband and I, we love each other so much. And we really want to live and be with each other for long. None of us want the other to live so soon. And since this is about passing so that you know, I'll be the children of our own. We cause one of us to live one year on death, on time <laughs> So we decided to get rid of my womb. To what? And go for adoption. Ah! Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, tell me this is not true. Don't tell me it's not true. This is exactly what happened, sir. For the past three years, and you just kept it away from me. By the way, I thought you called me your your spiritual father, but you couldn't tell me all this. You are now undergoing these pains for three years. Now, what is the essence of me being your spiritual father? I keep asking you if everything is right. You are telling me everything is fine. Everything is fine. Is everything fine now? Ah, I'm really disappointed in the two of you. The problem I have with many Christians is that. Whenever problems arise, they usually think everything is over, that it is beyond control, and they will now be running a task about looking for self solution. It's a pity how many Christians submit themselves to suffering just because they accord more power to the devil and leave God, who is in charge of everything, without knowing that the devil has no power whatsoever. And the devil has no help. So you decided to help yourselves. Right? Instead of you to come and meet your creator. <sighs> Sorry, sir. We have choice. And this time, Mrs. Sir. Nevertheless, we can't shy away from the fact that. And everything that concerns me, the more reason why I need to step up to this case, and I believe everything. Mr. and Mrs. Brown, I want you to know today that our God is the creator of all nature and the has power over nature. And this even capable of replacing what people see as irreplaceable. Are you ready to spur your faith into action? Yes, we are ready. Uh, Mr. Mrs. Ibrahim, you are not getting me. You are not getting me. When I say faith, I mean real faith. I mean living faith. Less faith like that of Abraham. Hmm. Fearless faith like that of Daniel. Hmm. I mean limitless faith like that of Joseph and your daily Baba Lola. Hmm. Ah, when I'm talking about faith, I mean rocket faith. Rocket faith that is capable of moving mountains. This time, Mrs. Abraham. Are you sure you are ready to embark on this journey with me? Yes, we are fully ready. So good. This is what we are starting with. We need to undergo some series of prayers and fasting to deliver you from every bandage of your families. And after that, you can proceed. Every evil covenant, working against my family, working against your family, Working against our family, they are break this this night in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, every evil covenant working against us in this in this family, we are break it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
every collective cause, every collective cause, working against us in this family, we pray them in the name of Jesus. Let's only pray. Say, Brown. Ah, doctor, ah. we've been waiting for you. Well done. Uh, yeah. I'm very sorry for keeping you waiting. I was attending to one of our patients. Okay. She has been in the room since last seven days. Wow. To God be the glory, she gave out with triplet, triplet. Sir? Yes, triplet. You sound someone when you call this morning. Hope there is no problem. Yeah, no problem. Um, my wife has been acting strictly these days. Okay. Okay, mother, can you just tell us how you feel? I'm feeling with this dish. Okay. I get it, my mm. Yeah. Is that only it? Okay. She complains a lot. She sleeps a lot these days. She hardly eats. Mm. Okay. Okay. Don't be problem. Don't be problem. What have you used? Nothing. Uh, nothing. Nothing. You have to wait since you are family doctor. Okay. You know what? Let me call one of my nurse to attend to you. Okay. You call me. Come. You can call me, sir. Yeah, most matter I called. Okay, this is uh, Mrs. Abraham. Okay. Have this. I'm going to conduct the test for me. Okay, sir. Um, I'll be waiting for the results. Please, do that quick. So, um, you have to follow up. Uh, Come on, Yeah, sure. follow up. Please take good care. There's no problem. Sure. Um, Mr. Nelson, ah, at this point, you need to put uh, so your mother first. Everything will be fine. Uh, I think so. So just go to the reception and relax. Okay. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you, Dr. Yeah, Mr. Abraham. Yes, this is the result of the test. Okay, you are done, right? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. I actually conducted a pregnancy test. Okay. Based on the complaint she gave me. Okay. Yes, so I, 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 I didn't conduct another. I, I, I didn't get you. I sent you to go and do another thing entirely. So it's due to. What is the problem of all these nurses? They will send you something, you'll be doing another thing entirely. No matter. This is not your first time. Oh my God! Oh, we still have the blood sample in the lab. Yes, sir. Okay, and they are still in the uh, reception. Yes, sir. Okay, you know what? Okay, let's do. I have to reconduct the test. Okay. Unbelievable! Incredible! Impossible! What is the problem? I still imagine it. Your wife is pregnant. Doctor, you, you can't be serious. How can she be pregnant? She has no room. Hmm. I, I, I'm 
still imagining it. I took her by myself to the theater room. Yes. I evacuated her room. Yes. Now she's pregnant. How did you do it? You still don't believe this. She, she is homeless and you know yourself. Okay, you know what? At least you believe this result. Check it. Jesus! Yes. This is impossible. Yes. Incredible! I'm not believing it. My you're pregnant for him. What is it? What? Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I can't believe what I'm saying. Jesus. Yes. Pregnant. This is possible. Oh yes. This is credible. Yes. Unbelievable. Oh, yes. This can only be God's blessing. No. Oh. Pregnant. Uh, uh, please. Mr. Mr. Brown. Please, who is that doctor? Oh my god. That implanted another woman. You mean you want to know that doctor? Yes, yeah, I wish to know. His name is Dr. Jesus! Jesus! Doctor Jesus! Jesus. Jesus. Please don't know that woman. I can't believe I am so Share for me. Share for me. Share for me. Yes, sir. Please get us water. Alright. Where is she now? I'm coming, sir. Oh, God bless you. I don't worry, you can just touch. Dear. So we can still have a child. This can only be God. You know, um, I'm just thinking, he alone is capable of, um, of giving a homeless woman a new, a brand new home to conceive. Like, this is just beyond human imagination or human reasoning. This God, thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. Dear, yeah. what, 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 is, what is the problem? You look so dull. You're not talking. I'm the one doing the talking here. I'm just talking to myself. What's the problem? Dear, I'm scared. Scared? Scared of what? What if what? If what? what if what? Do you know, we have given our life to Jesus Christ. And um, Jesus Christ is in this boat with us. We are not alone in this boat. So, do not accommodate fear in your heart. You know what the Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7? It says, We are not given the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of sound mind. Dear, there is nothing to worry about. Jesus has settled everything. Okay. So, there's nothing to worry about. Um, Chef for me! Chef for me! Yes, sir! Please come and pack this. So, sorry, dear. Dear, I think you have to go and rest now. Just take a nap. Alright. Just stand up. Okay. Ah! Jesus! Ah! Judas! Judas! Chef for me! Chef for me! Judas! So make sure they are all clean. Like this decoration too. You can see it's looking old, tattered, and rough. So make sure you do all the other members of the decorating building so that they can arrange it, the chairs, everything. And the rovers too, make sure they are cleaned. After why? Why? Why now? Mr. Ibrahim, is everything alright? Sister, you know what? 
Just you can be going to oh, receive the price. Take care of yourself. God bless you. <laughs> Mr. Nelson. Pastor! Pastor, why? Why is it that there's a limitation to your God? So your God can only give us pregnancy, but cannot give us a child. Oh. I was in the sitting room discussing the same issue with my wife. Uh -huh. Suddenly, she fainted. Presently, my wife is in the hospital. In coma, pastor. Nothing must happen to my wife. Nothing must happen to my wife. Mr. Nelson Abraham. Oh. Wait. Why do you why do you panic? Why are you a man of little faith? Hasn't the Lord done enough by giving your wife pregnancy, even when everybody thought she couldn't conceive? Without whom? What else do you need for the Lord to show you that He is faithful? I told you earlier that the Lord has given you the fruit of the womb already and the Lord has promised a safe delivery. Wait, do you think I'm sitting down with your matter? Or do you think I'm a spiritual father that will just sit down and watch his children wander around? Wait, do you know the pain it took me to intercede on your behalf? For God to have done this wonder? Do you really know? Do you really want to know? Do you know how many days of prayer and fast I embarked on to make sure that this is what you oh, Pastor. Pastor, I'm sorry, sir. So you have been casting on the name of my family. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I pray that the Lord will forgive me. Nelson Abraham. You know what? The Lord is faithful. I needed to embark on the prayer and fast just to make sure that I do my own part as your spiritual father. But it was left for God to answer. So it's not my power. But what I did was just to fulfill my own part of the assignment. And the Lord that did this is capable of doing anything. And don't forget that I received the confirmation from the Lord that the pregnancy has come to stay. Amen. And the Lord promised your wife a safe delivery too. Amen. And the child is coming to stay. Amen. So why do you panic? Stop. If you faint in the day of adversity, your faith is little. Oh. That is Proverbs chapter 24 verse 10. You know, the problem we Christians have is because we, we accord so much power and respect to the devil. Realizing that he is powerless. So when problems arise, the devil just shows us the problem and see if it is very big. Not knowing that it's just something very trivial. The Lord is powerful and is in control of everything. Whether the devil likes it or not, the pregnancy has come to stay Amen. and the child is coming to stay. Amen. Nothing can stop that. Amen. Nothing can stop the promise.
problem. I what happened? I had a nightmare. A nightmare? What I saw you? them. I saw. I saw. What did you saw? I saw. Ah, did he? What? Did he old woman? Don't say my time is up. Jesus. On earth. Never. Your hand cannot be hooked. Against every I have dream. We magnify them by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every head will cancel every angry dream. Hey, hey, back. Your 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 back. That's true, Nelson. There is nothing we can do to this issue of land. In everything, let's give thanks. Mr. Nelson, there is nothing you can do about this situation. You still have to take it. You know this God. He give it and he take it. He's the only one that understands. And nobody can question him. So you have to take it. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much. But Juliet, Juliet, wherever you are right now, I don't know if you can hear me or not. But we never planned it this way. You never said you are gonna leave me like this. You never did. Sorry, Nelson. Mm. Take heart. I will. You just have to take heart, please. But it's, it's not easy. It's not easy. Not easy. Oh. Exactly, Mr. Nelson. Okay. You see. Eh? <laughs> oh. You have to take heart. If there is someone on this end that says, well, this bad thing that happens to you. He didn't pay you. <laughs> the person should keep his own as powers. I know how painful this is. <laughs> but, <laughs> Mr. Lessie, you have to move on. You just have to move on. Just forget about it. Move on. I will move on. I will move on. You see, I will move on, Mr. Nelson. See, you see, me, Mr. Nelson. I don't think you understand what I mean by this moving on. Uh, you have to move on, like go up and chill. Hmm. You have to go up and chill. See, let me tell you something. Let me, okay, let me tell you something. I have Jesus. So, you know that I don't have Jesus. So. See, let me see. Let me see. Okay, anyway. I have Jesus. But what the thing is, okay, I, I only gave Jesus my life, but I collected my soul. So we did this 50-50. So that the equation can balance. You don't have to do so, my dear brother. Mr. Nelson. I know you have Jesus too. But it is better you move on. <laughs> can you hear a dirty word from a stench man like you? I'm already dedicated in you. Nelson. Thank you. Just take out. Please. Thank you. Jesus. I am book it in Jesus' name. Amen. This can never happen. Amen. Mr. Abraham, please be calm. This is 
speak to you in very long minutes. I understand you. You cannot understand. I understand. Please, be calm. You cannot understand. Be calm. Be calm. Be calm. Be calm. Your wife is okay and she's fine. No, calm down. That means you can never die. You will not die. Be calm. He's a liar. Then who is a liar? My wife is not a liar. She's fine. Calm down. Boss, what happened? We have been sitting here since morning. You cannot. You don't even have us. Where is doctor? You don't even miss his condition. Look at that. He's shaking.
gbogbo nto ati ti sise o ase ti o sile igba ma le n be leyi mi o ibi o wa ile ro mo le lo wa o be ro ipun se be baba o di gbe se la la ro kala o je la je je ni baba mi o se se fu ga baba eh fe kan mi so ta ro na mi so do fun Comment les faire ça ni moi Quand c'est mal les filles tu fais les signes pour ça moi Hein Je ne t'en fais pas Ben papa Quand dans toi ma gueule allez faire garder Ben papa Hein Et tu là au toucher Oui ben papa Et nous te filer les te filer pour quoi comment Hein Ta parle nous moi tu dis là hein Ben papa Comment il a nous relé dit papa hier Ben papa Au carré Tu vas nous pas des mio Hein Ama o Baba Baba mo fe ti po mu o wa po para e le le o para e le le bo ba tan la bo ni se ti pa ni o ala bo baba ben o le nu ala bo ni la ki pa ni se o de n pa ti pe ni ola o ti do ni bo ni o jo mo gbe be yo ba je gba gbo gbo ro ti le fu ben 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 baba he baba mo se to eh mo se to ma ti fi ja wa de po du sire Moshi toa ti parti de pata pata hein Ani la o baba la wa de pa do ben bo se fe nwa di moshi fo hein o ti di sise nanu hein o ti di sise fe se baba baba mo mo pala ko si la ga ga fe se baba ni o gbo fe se ni fa do ti o lo mo le o gbo ti fe se a se baba ah ah o mo mo si da e le ni ti an ti hein e ni ti an ti se bu baba Eh ba ju mi e se o e se baba e se Sati Ki o do sa su bi Ah e se do sa su bi ya Ah la bi se O da o ni o ambe ko mo ti wa sai ba La bi se o si la ti na o bo ti ba ni Wo la bi se mo ba ni na ba la bi bi Wo ni do su pe bi ma de ma ko ni ni o ba ti ko Ma de o ni keji
Who's that? Is that a lady? Yeah, that's my that's that's No, 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 the Bible says, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Is that not what you taught me in the Bible? Exactly what we taught you. Oh, my God, what is the problem? You are scaring us. Please, what is the problem? Just know what. You are your parents. Tell us. Mommy, Daddy, go and sleep. I will be okay. I will tell you everything tomorrow. No, 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 no. We no. no, won't take that from you. We won't take that from you. We heard your voice so loud and clear from our room. Tell us now, you can you can confide in us. We are your parents. Please, just speak up. You know, Ayomide, you know we won't take that from you. You are scaring us. Uh uh, Daddy, Mommy, you taught me that we are not given the spirit of fear, yes. but of love, yes. power, yes. and of sound minds. Mm. No, so don't fear, don't fear at all. I will be fine. I will tell you everything tomorrow morning. What am I going to do now? Just we are asleep. Sleep. No ah, just sleep. Don't worry, just sleep. Oh. The Lord will be with you. Amen. Amen. No evil shall be for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Cover you, cover this room with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Juliet, are you thinking what I'm thinking right now? I... Like, this boy is now becoming something else. <sighs> See how he was talking. See the boldness. He was just quoting the Bible verse. I myself cannot even quote. I'm not surprised. Really? Have you forgotten what Pastor told us about him? What Pastor told us about him? Yeah. <laughs> I know your ears are itching already to listen to the good news I said I have for you. The Lord sent me to you. The Lord told me to tell you that Ayomide is a special gift for me. The Lord said that Ayomide is a shining light that will shine throughout the whole world. His impact shall be felt by the entire mankind. He was just illuminating in this, and the Lord, while ministering to me, led me further into the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Before I formed you in the pen, I have known you. And before you came out of the womb, I have sanctified and ordained you as a prophet to all nations. This is what the Lord told me about. I am needed. The Lord said that he shall be a glorious child. The Lord said that prophetic utterances shall come from his mouth. <laughs> and don't be surprised. If you see him do exploits that are humanly beyond his age, because it is the Lord's chosen. And he is indeed a great blessing. The Lord asked me to tell you that he has a special assignment. I'm talking about Ayomide this time around. Ayomide has a special assignment in this family and in the world at large. Hmm. I pray the Lord helps us to mature him and the Lord will help us all. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, sir. We really appreciate it. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, that is true. Ah, so Ayumide is now growing in the stature of God and the wisdom of God. Ah, it is well. I pray the Lord will help him in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. Ah, okay, no problem. Just let's, let's go back to sleep. The Lord will guide him. The Lord will protect him in Jesus' name. Alright. Ah. Mom, Dad, that's the 
eu já gosto de mim. <risos> Nelson, o que vamos fazer agora? Eu não quero perder o meu filho. You know all what we went through before we gave birth to him. I don't want to lose him. You can calm down, Juliet. Ah. You have to calm down. By the special grace of God, nothing will happen to Ayo ah. You just have to calm down. I know this is our only son. And um, all we need to do is just keep praying for him. Nothing will happen to Ayo We just have to be prayerful. This is a life from the pit of hell. Daddy, Psalm 121 says, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is the shade upon my right hand. The sun shall not smite me by the day, nor the moon by the night. The Lord shall preserve me from all evil. He shall preserve my soul. Daddy, if God wants me dead, He won't bring me to life. I am there. I have come to stay. I go nowhere. Oh, please. Nelsie. <laughs> hey, dear. Oh, my you, my Koko. Hey, oh, you, my Koto Mbawa Fria. Don't you think we need to call Pastor? I don't want to lose my son. Dear. Dear. You better calm down. Mm -hmm. Hey, at this stage now, all we need is prayer. Mm -hmm. All we need is prayer. Nothing by any means shall happen to Ayomide. No evil shall befall him. All we just have to do is to keep praying. Uh, well, I think we have to. We need to call the pastor because we've not even called him since we located to Lagos. You know, God will teach us what to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. We'll keep praying. We'll keep praying. It is well, Ayomide. God bless you. God preserve you in Jesus' name. Allow me to rest in peace. I've gone out to work since morning. Just for me to rest now, you're still disturbing me. I told you I have, a, I have an appointment to catch up tomorrow morning. And you're still waking me up. I don't have time for this, oh. Dear, I'm sorry. What is it? What is it this time? What is it? I can't just leave. <sighs> Dear, this is the seventh year that we gave birth to Ayomide. And I haven't conceived since then. And the issue of Ayomide, I don't want to abuse my son. Don't you think we need to call pastor? But, woman, must we call pastor whenever we have issues in this house? Can't we just pray on our own? And by the way, what's that in this show was just an illusion, a nightmare. It is nothing. So why are you disturbing yourself over, over this issue? The Lord has fought this battle for us. And we have won already. And concerning the issue of uh, pregnancy, we will keep praying and keep trying our best. Which I know by the special grace of God, the Lord will crown our effort. So please, don't worry yourself. Stop worrying yourself about this. Illusion? Yes. Nightmare. I don't believe that is coming out from your mouth. <sighs> okay. Eh? When? Now. Now? Sorry, please. I have to sleep. I have gone out there. What is this morning? Now, I'm exhausted. You just allow me to rest. God.
Yes, sir. Where are you going? Ah, what sort of question is that? You see, I'm dressed up. I'm off to work already. I told you I have an appointment to catch up with this morning with some business partner. But the, you promised that we are going to pray this morning. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry about that. But, you know, maybe you should do the prayer, you know, so I'll become one. If you pray, I have prayed. And we have prayed. And the Lord wants that prayer. Please just do the prayer and later. Bye. We must not consider like this in this world. Ma. Yeah, we are fine, ma. Mm, ah, I am really fine, though. You are fine. Okay. Wow. That's good. I can't wait to see you, ma. Alright. Ah, ma. There is fire on the mountain. Okay. Amen. Alright. I'll forward the address to you, ma. Alright, ma. Take care. Bye. Huh. Who is that? What's the problem? That was my sister. Oh, she's around? Yes, she wow. said she will come and visit us. Wow, week. that is good. Yeah. That is good. Uh, this is our house. She's free anytime. Oh, thank you, dear. <laughs> is, I have to get somewhere. Oh, alright. So I'll see you later. Okay, dear. Right, Take care. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, uh, secretary. Yes, sir. I'm poor, still outside there waiting for me. Yes, Just for some. Just for. Yes, sir. Uh, you know what you will do for me now? Okay. Send one of them in and um, inform the others to come out tomorrow by 9 a.m. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Please, few minutes. Hello. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. Thank you. Ah, all right, lady. Mary. Mary. I've been looking at like, this on your screen. Please, have your seat. Have your seat. Oh, my God. This 
says no. Are you the manager? Of course, by the grace of God. Oh my. I have to be the one to select the person that will occupy the post of the financial secretary of this company. I'm so happy. This is you again. So I lost my phone after service. So that was I lost contact with everybody, okay. including you. It is well. It is well. No problem. Wait. Are you here for the job interview? Ah, of course now. Oh. I'm here. Oh. Ah, really? Yeah, oh, uh, you are still looking for a job? Ah, hmm. The best you. student. Yeah, for yeah. <laughs> Nigeria did not send me. Yes, let me have your five. Ah, yes, sir. Mr. Ah. General Manager. <laughs> hey, Nelson. Hey, Nelson. General Manager. See, hey. I don't even need to check your file. So, You've been employed automatically. Thank you. Ah, ah. Hey. hey congratulations. Thank you, sir. Please, three minutes. Mr. General Manager. Hey. Hey. hey! I can't believe this. I can't believe yeah, this. Yeah, Secretary. Yes, yes, yes. Please prepare our employment letter immediately. She has been employed. Hey. Don't worry, she's fitting for this yes. job. Okay. And, and don't forget to put a call across to others. Yeah, just inform them not to bother again. Yeah. We've seen the best person that is fitting for this job. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. No, so thank you. Hey. hey this is me. So, how was it with you? Hey. Sorry. Ah. Tired is an understatement. I am stressed out like seriously. Maybe you should go upstairs and show us a prayer. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. But at least just let me cool my head. It has been a hectic day for me in the office today. Let me just cool my head here for the meantime before I go into shower. Okay. Your food will soon be ready. Oh, thank you so much. Um, that reminds me. Ah. I met with a long time friend in my office today. She came for an interview. It was, I, was, I was so surprised to see her. She was one of the best students we were in school. And she came out with first class. She's a first class graduate. And I think by now, she should be doing well. I just saw her for the interview. Oh, first class, my friend. Do you know how many graduates out there that are looking for a job? Oh. Every God will help us in this country. Many, many, many. In fact, you, you really made a point because uh, this country, in fact, I, I don't even understand. And we are producing a lot of graduates almost every year. Yeah. We're producing graduates every year and there is no job. There is no job and there is no job out there. I just feel a lot of help us in this country. We didn't need God's intervention in this country. Mm -hmm. So, Apa Bahana? I am from there. Oh. I know she she really wants the job. Wow. She is capable. So I have to employ her. That's good one. I'm so happy for her. Uh, so what about her, your midi? She should be sleeping by now. Yeah, she's sleeping already. It's good. It is well. Oh. So then just then just go and um, shower. Me.
Baba, Clétien Damina, Clétien Jackinson. Baba, a <laughs> we are so glad to see you. Like seriously, it's nice to see you. So glad. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Also. All right, yeah. Bless you. Come. <laughs> uh, I, I think that was. Yeah, wow. please help oh, me with this. Thank you. Ah, yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. <sighs> it's nice seeing you. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Mama. Hmm. Ah, so, so, how are you very good? Huh? God is good. Thank you, my dear. Yes, okay. Um, Juliet. Yes, ma. You said you wanted to discuss something with me. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. what is it? Come and look for your rules. Ma. Okay. Ma. Yes. They swear on the mountain. What happened? Strange things has been happening in this in this house. Like what? That person from the village, you know that demon now? Yes. He has been appearing to my son in his dreams. What? He has, he has been threatening him that he must die because of the covenant. And I, I, I don't want to lose my son. You can't afford to lose him. Ayomide is the only one that I have. <sighs> oh no, 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 no. It is a lie. You know, devil is a liar. It's a lie from the people of hell. Ayomide is for Christ. He's a covenant child. He has been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, he will live and not die. So, devil is a liar. That boy will live to fulfill and to declare the glory of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. So the devil is a liar. So let your mind be at rest. Nothing will happen to you. Thank you so much, my sister. What can I do without you? I thank you so much. So, how is your spiritual life? The, 
the, the, the Lord, the Lord is helping us. We're trying our best. Mm, we thank God, Ma. I want you to know that this is the hero spoken of in the book of First Timothy chapter three. This is the hero right here, and this is the time to draw more closer to God in fellowship and in prayer. Mm. This is not time to draw away from God. This is not time to joke with your spiritual life. This is time to be more serious and be more sad. Closer relationship, close work with God. You know, because the Bible says, devil, our enemy, is roaming around mm. looking for whom to devour. If our adversary did not rest, then we should not do sleep to our whole life. We have to be sensitive in the spirit. We have to be more serious about our spiritual life. Mm. This lapa share of a thing is a joke. You know it now. You know I fought this battle. I've been there before. And I and my husband, we combined force and took the battle to the gate of our enemy. Mm. And Jesus gave us victory. Mm. Today we have four grown up children. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want you both to be united in spirit, in body, and in soul to win this battle. You need to fight and you need to win. Yes, you can't allow enemy to mess up with your life. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Fight. Fight good fight of faith. Mm. Put on your hammer and let your adversary be defeated. Mm. And God will give you victory. Mm. You shall conquer mm. in the name of Jesus. This battle will not swallow you up. Mm -hmm. And for the pregnancy, the Bible says God make all things beautiful in his own time. Mm -hmm. So at God's own appointed time, another baby will come. Mm -hmm. You just need to hold on and keep moving on. Don't lose your faith and all shall be well. You don't need to give yourself to fear. Mm -hmm. God has not given us the spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but of boldness and a sound mind. Mm -hmm. Jesus has conquered. Mm -hmm. And we shall be victorious. Amen. Amen. And thank you so much, Ma. Yeah, so much, so Ma. Ah, we should not. We should not be afraid. God has not given us the spirit of fear, mm. but that of sound mind, the boldness. Mm. So let's hold on to our faith. Mm. Jesus has conquered. Thank you so much. Yours, uh, we will need you to keep praying for us. I've been doing that. And I'll keep doing that. Trust you, my sister. Thank you. Thank you, ma. Okay, ma, let me give you something. Please. Yeah, please yes, prepare okay, something delicious for us. Okay. Hey. Thank you. Please feel at home, ma. This is your house. I know. I know. I <laughs> Thank know. you so much, ma. What thanks. <laughs> um, oh, I need to go and pick. I have dinner. Oh, that's yeah. good. I need to see my boy. <laughs> All right, Juliet, I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just sleep. Please. What, what is it? Okay. Please. Just allow me to sleep. Please. Let's sleep go. in peace again. <laughs> what is it? What do you have to say? Dear, you are not taking this issue of Ayomiri and the pregnancy serious. I deliberately not say anything when my sister was advising us this afternoon. Dear, we need to pray. This is getting too serious than we think. We hardly hold our family prayer. Morning devotion has stopped. Dear, we need to pray. I've not been seeing you praying personally. What has come over you, dear? We need to pray. Juliet, I have two three times with that number. Nothing will happen to her your midday. You know, we have prayed and we are still praying. In fact, we have prayed enough. And God has fought this button for us. We have won already. So, why are you disturbing yourself? 
you know I'll have to go to work in the morning and go back late at night. By that time, I will have been tired. If it's about tonight's prayer, no problem. Let us pray. But you'll be the one to lead the prayer. Ah, dear. Christine, you might see why, Sammy. The Bible says we should pray with us, isn't it? We should pray. See, our joy is full. This is not the time to rest. This is the time to arise and pray together. Dear, please, let's arise and pray. This is getting too serious. Please. At least we have arised now. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's, let's try not together to pray. Oh, Lord. Oh God, how excellent! Juliet, Juliet, please just ten minutes. It's okay. I have to see. Yeah, one hour. We are still here. You are who? Oh Lord, me and you. Oh God, how excellent is your name. Please. How are you? Fine. Uh, you can drop the file. Okay. I want them to eat later. Okay, sir. Uh, um, sir. Yeah. Um, I, I would like to discuss something. Mary, calm down. Is there something you want to tell me? Yes, but the thing is, I. No, I don't uh, know. Mary, I don't feel know free to, to talk. <laughs> Mary, this is me. Feel free to talk. You know, you're not our gun. <laughs> I beg, just feel free to talk. Okay, the thing is, I, I, would, I, I would like to um, invite you for dinner at my place um, tonight, if um, you don't mind. Um, Dinner. No, just to just, you know, it's, it's been long. Yes, you uh, know, just kind of get together. Your place. Yeah, my apartment. Um, I'm, I'm sorry I may not be able to attend the dinner. I'm very, very sorry because I have, I have something important to do with my wife at home tonight. Very, very important. Important. Okay. Oh, Mary, please. I don't want you to think otherwise. You're also important to us in this company, it's but it's just that I have. Sorry, right. right. okay. you'll always be on that side. Thank you. Ah, Mary, you can come. Let's make the date. Aww. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right, later. from afar. Mm. Now I'm seeing you as a boss. Yeah. But now in my house. Yes, Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Wow, mm. oh, so okay. is this your apartment? Oh. Yeah. The one located here. Not my apartment actually. It's going to be a friend. Oh, Alright, so how is life generally? It's like <laughs> Live. Hmm. 
You know, I told you the first time I entered our office that you had to say okay. something like this. Yeah, yeah. Sh life has not been treating me well at all. Mm. My dear, Nigeria has not been fair on me. Mm. So after our service, then I went straight to Port Wow. Do you remember my aunt in Port yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I had to go and stay with her, you know. At least, in fact, my thinking was just for a while mm. because I was so sure of myself that with my certificates, feel that. Guessing job will not be that a short I mean, Like seriously. <laughs> That's what I thought. No, no, My dear, it wasn't the same move. Mm. I saw five. Yeah. My auntie tried, people tried. And you know, the annoying thing is, is one song that I keep hearing. My, my, my results is too good. We are sorry, we cannot pay you because. I, I, I don't understand. You will get here, they will tell you, oh, your result is too good, we cannot pay you. But you don't have a good result, they will still talk. That's I am country tired country of this country. That's the country. I am that's so that's tired. tired. That is the song I hear every day. Mm. That's why I gave up. I just started doing many jobs, you know, just to find something doing and, you know, have money in my pocket. Until like three weeks ago, I got a call from this my friend. You know, she, she, she said she just relocated to Lagos and then she'll feel lonely and she'll come and stay with her. You know, I even feel reluctant that, you know, if I couldn't get a job in Port Harcourt, she didn't have Lagos. Lagos, with this popular action, I don't know what God can do. Mm. Make my work is there. Mm. She, okay, my aunt, everybody, they shout for, okay, just go, at least change location. Mm. And I agree though. You will not believe one thing. It is only that I appreciate Lagos traffic. <laughs> because it was in the bus, you know, the bus passed in front of the company and I saw the vacancy, but and I had to, you know, say, use my phone to take a clearer picture. Hmm. So my own, I went through it and I guess in touch with the secretary and then I was shortlisted for the interview. Hmm. Hey, hey, I didn't know my friend called me back <laughs> home to come and meet Nelson. Hey, hey. <laughs> now I believe God did this for a purpose. <laughs> Don't you think so? Wait, do you mean for a purpose? Uh uh, Nelson. Don't do a thing you don't know what you're talking about. Do you think I can forget all those good memories? It's just me to me. Just stop it. <sighs> you're making me feel uneasy here. Uneasy, but when you're with Mary, you're loving uh, Mary. Have you forgotten? It? Stop it there. I know all this. And I don't dispute the fact that we had songs together in the past. And that is in the past. So what's stopping it? We are now in the present. So, and. I am legally married. I don't think such can happen between us again. It can't. Say, what are you saying? Listen, what are you saying? Do you think it's easy? The moment I set my eyes on you back at the office that day, all those memories just keep flowing. Mary, Mary, stop, stop it. Please, just let's forget about everything that has happened between us in the past. Just forget about it and let us move on. We are now working together in the same office. It doesn't make sense. I am legally married, please. Just let's forget about this and move on like a normal, normal friend. Like nothing ever happened, Abby. Exactly. You think it's that easy? You know, it's so easy for you to say now. Because you could forget that our moment, forget your promise and get married. You know what, um, Mary, just let's forget about everything. You're going to meet someone that love and value you Listen, for who that's you the have. Problem. I've not been able to love any other person. You have to thing. try. Stop it. You're making me uneasy and I'm out here, please. Wait. Just, just. Now sing. coming from what sort of question is that office of course office ah yeah office i had a lot of things to you know to cover up so that's why i had to stay back and um some meetings also so that's why but i got your secretary she said you left office early today 
Oh, that's true. She actually saw me when we were heading to the hotel we used for the meeting. Yeah, that's why that, that's where she saw me, right? <laughs> it's fine. Hope you did not forget that we are supposed to order our family prayer today. Oh my bad, my bad. Nelson, you're bad. I've forgotten. Like seriously, I you know, I had a stressful day. I've been working since morning. So I'm sorry I won't be able to join uh tonight's prayer. I'm sorry I won't be able to, you know, join the prayer tonight. Just pray for the head of the family and then my prayer answers will be uh, I pray our prayers will be answered in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, I mean, they you pray for your dad, right? Yes. Okay, so just oh, I trust you. Please don't you see. You see. Mom, let us pray. Don't worry. We'll pray for daddy. Ah. Okay. Just. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Sir. Good afternoon, Mrs. C. Brown. How are you? I'm fine, sir. It's been a while. How have you been? Daddy, we are sorry for not calling you since we moved to Lagos, sir. Uh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. It is well. So, is your husband there? Ah, yes, sir. Wow, that's good. Please put the phone on speaker. I need to talk to the two of you. Okay, that's good. God bless you, Mr. Ibrahim. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, straight to the point. The Lord showed me something terrifying about your family. So last night while praying, the Lord showed me the vision of a man noted in black from head to toe. So the man was stubbornly knocking at your door. And there will be no time. One of you opened the door for him. And he entered. Our entry. He forcefully took the key away from you, locked the door, and gained dominion over your family. So, terrified about the dream, I needed to inquire from the Lord. And the Lord told me that the man in question happens to be the devil. The Lord told me to tell you that the devil is working tirelessly to gain entrance into your family. And the Lord told me to warn you that you have to be very careful. That this time around, you have to be closer to God than never before. The Lord told me to ask you to intensify your prayers. The Lord told me to tell you to be very careful so that the devil cannot penetrate. Please, Mr. and Mrs. Abraham, this is a very serious message. You shouldn't take it for granted. All right, Thank sir. you, sir. Bye. What kind of revelation is this? I don't understand. How, how, how can we allow the devil in our house? One of us allowed the devil to enter into this house. This is really shocking. Never. This really is really will never happen in Jesus' name. Amen. The devil will not have his way in this house in Jesus' name. Amen. We are covered by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Never in this house. Amen. You know what? We need to keep praying. Mm. We, need to yes. keep, we need to pray the more. Yes. Please, go and check on your Okay. Go and check on your mind, please. We allow the devil. How can we by ourselves allow the devil in this house? Never. It can never happen. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come against every voice that is not of God tormenting this family. In the mighty name of Jesus, I silence every voice that is tormenting this family. In the mighty name of Jesus, every
every evil order be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Cast fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Be consumed by the fire of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil covenant that is speaking against this family be destroyed. Cast fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, in the vein. Father Lord, in the vein. Father Lord, in the in the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord, intervene. Father Lord, intervene. In the mighty name of Jesus. I've not been seeing you having your, 
your quiet time or praying enough. So these are what you have been doing behind me. No wonder you have been coming on lately these days. No, no, no. Can you see that you have all by yourself opened the door for devil to have access to this family? Ah, ah Jesus, I'm finished. I'm no, sorry, this is not what you are thinking. You're sorry for what? This is not what you are thinking. Do you know what? Don't even allow devil. Ah, ah oh, God. Hey. Jesus. Ah, this girl has finished my life totally. Ah, God. Please have mercy, have mercy. Ah. Juliet, it is not what you are thinking. Ah, Lord, have mercy. Juliet, please. Lord. to yourself. Can you see what you have caused my home? You say, calm down. Calm down and explain to me. What's the problem? God. What was I even thinking? I, I don't even know what pushed me to you. I don't, this is the, this is the hand of the devil. Come. And you are the devil here. Yeah. Why are you pretending as if you don't know what happened? Because I don't know. You don't know? Yes, I don't know. What was the part when you tested me yesterday? Missing. My wife saw the message. He read the message. And my house is on fire now. Oh, okay, about that. I'm sorry, I just wanted to appreciate, you know. I don't mean any harm to you. I'm sorry. You don't count as anything. I'm sorry. You, you're sorry? Mm-hmm. You're sorry? Are you saying you're sorry? Yes, I'm sorry. I don't mean, I just wanted to express my gratitude now. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> you've tried. You've tried your best. If what you're thinking is that I will send my wife out and have you him to my life, never! It will not work through this devil. It will never work. I beg of you, leave my life alone. Leave this company alone. Leave everything that concerns me and you alone and forget everything. Just please leave my office. Let's say better calm down. Okay. Calm your nerves. Don't develop my attention. I'm sorry, Abby. Please, out of my office now. So it's not up to me. Hello? Are you done with it? Yes, bring it, my friend, right now. Bring what? Please, I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Please. Okay. I'm sorry later. How could you? Thank you. Please have it. This is your son. I don't want to see my office again. I don't want to see my life again. I don't want to have anything to do with it again. Yes. Have it and get a man right it's now. Please don't do this to me. You know you have been coming a long way. Please, I beg you. Which long way? Please. Which long way? Don't you expect me to start from now? Start anywhere. I don't know. Out of my office now. I will call the security on you. Out of my office now. Nipsey. Nipsey, I'm sorry. Nipsey, I'm sorry. I'm out. out. God, God, have mercy on me. What have I done? What have I put myself into? Juliet! Who is she? Why is the house so empty? Dear? Juliet! Yeah, I am in there. Juliet!
what? What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I said I don't want to see you anymore. I'm sorry. I said I don't want to in my life. Mommy, you can't understand. Don't just give up. No, no. Sorry. Don't go. Don't go. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. Mommy, you can't understand. Ah. Oh. That was the way you made me. I was wrong with you. Oh. Oh. You can't understand. Is there already that this is a sign of respect? Mm -hmm. So let's hear yeah. him out. Come on, Hin. What's wrong with you? Come on, go and sit down. Sit down. I'm sorry. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I don't even want to see him anymore. Calm down. Ah, I know it's very true. And then just run. Be there. So be there. Ah, no. What's wrong with you? How dare you? How could you do this? You cheated on your wife? Ha! Huh. You are a disappointment. Oh my God. Even imagine it. Why would you stoop so low for any man to use you like this? I know you to be a Christian, but are you still a Christian? How can you abandon your wife at home and go and sleep with another woman? Oh my God! Is this a Christ-like attitude? This is a Christ-like character. Oh Jesus! I don't even know what to say because I am hungry. I'm sorry, man. I'm hungry. How can you do this? Oh, you disappointed me. You disappointed this family. You disappointed God. Oh my God, I'm angry at you right now. Right now, I don't know what you do. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Mom. How dare you? I'm sorry, Mom. I am even ashamed of myself. I feel disgusting. Ma, this is the work of the devil. Ma, this is the work of the devil. The devil, you say? Yes, ma'am. I just pray my wife will find a place in her heart to forgive me. Please help me to beg her. You need to go and seek the mind of God. Let God forgive you. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I have been praying. I've been asking God for forgiveness. You know, mom, can you tell go to the office today? I sacked her. I sent her out of my life totally, out of the office. Uh, I'm sorry, ma. Please. Forgive me. Please forgive me. I won't do that again. This is just the work of the devil. The devil wants to destroy our home. You know, you know. You should have known that. You should have known that. Forgive me. Such will never repeat itself again. Please. So me to beg her. Please, mommy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ma. Juliet. Yes, ma. Please. I know this is so, so, so painful. Forgiveness, you mean, mommy? I loved him. I trusted him. I can't even imagine my own man sleeping with another woman. Ah, God. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. This is the work of the devil. I know it's true. Please, please, don't allow devil to win this game. Don't allow devil to win this game. Don't allow enemy to break your home. God has joined you together. Don't let this you to your son. Please, for Christ's sake, for the sake of heaven, please, don't allow enemy to break your home. Don't allow most of them to rejoice. Allow this to happen again. Never. Never. It's not. Mighty name we have. Amen. Now I'm going to shout and tell you to go. Every evil covenant working against this family, they are destroyed by fire. Let's turn it to prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, every evil covenant working against this family, working against this home, they are destroyed by fire. In the name of 
Jesus. 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 Jesus mighty name we are Let's let's go. Every evil water that rises against this family, consume them by fire. Let's start to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, every evil water that rises against this family, consume them by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In this family, Lord, take over. Take charge of this family. Let's turn into prayer. Father, in the name of Lord, take over. Take charge. Take dominion. Take charge. Take dominion. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Take charge. Take dominion. In the name of And this family shall not stand in Jesus' name. Let's turn into prayer. Father, in the mighty name, name of Jesus, Jesus Lord, every, every evil counsel, counsel against our midday, and this house shall not stand. They shall not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we come against every evil counsel in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's just go. Father, every evil agenda concerning this home, this family, concerning your midday, let it be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Let's turn into prayer. Father, Father in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus. every evil plan concerning every your midday, evil agenda, concerning this home, concerning this family, cannot stand in the name of Jesus. Destroy them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Ah, 
I shall not die. I shall ah. not die. Yeah. Because of Jesus, I shall not die. Mommy, yes. he just left my room. Who left your room? They came here also. What are we going to do now? He said I have just two more days to Ah, I must come and surrender myself willingly in this one. Ah, 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 no, no, never. No, yeah. Ah, what are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Your blood can now be used for sacrifice in Jesus' name. You are caught with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Ah. Amen. Daddy, I want to request What is it? What is that? Never. We can't take you there. Ah, they want you dead. They want to use your blood for sacrifice. For what you know nothing about. Never. Never in Jesus' name. No, no. I mean, no. we can't take you there, please. The Bible says no good form the best or sacrifice. I don't do this for me. I don't know. But that place, that those people are they are dangerous. You know what? Sleep. Please sleep. We will discuss tomorrow, sleep. And you know what? Dear, we are sleeping with him. We are not leaving this room tonight. If anything will happen, come and take the three of us. Sorry, dear. Sorry, dear. Sorry it is well with you. It is well with you. The Lord is our ship. Sir. We, 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 we can't. It's not possible, sir. He's too young. How can we allow him to go where they want him dead? Why do you want to use him for sa- <sighs> Yes, she's here. Okay, sir. Shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself? But as my father hath taught me, I speak these things, and he that sent me is with me. That the father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please. Mommy, 
We don't have to fear who can kill the body and not the soul. Oh, please, why are you discouraging this man? I think you should encourage him. Before he can make up his mind to go and face this demon, definitely he has understanding of what God has deposited in him. And do you think I'm a fool? I face this demon, I fought this demon and I conquer. Let him go and face his fear and conquer once and for all. Let's put an end to all this nonsense covenant. Let's go. Let's go.